Marwa and today I'm going to show you how to create a lighting diagram. Now a lighting diagram is an overview diagram of your lighting and gear on set. A lighting diagram can help you determine how many lights you need, what kind of lights and gear you need, and where are your lights and gear located on set. So for today's lighting diagram, we're going to break down this setup. So the first step in creating your lighting diagram is to download an app. I like to use Cybus Link. So all I need to do is go to my phone or iPad and download the app on my phone. Now the second step is building your set. Now you don't have to build every single thing in the room, you just have to build what's on frame, what the camera is going to see. So all I'm going to do is create a table. So after I did that, I now want to create a chair. And then the next thing I'm going to do is go to my female lead and place the female lead as well. And all I'm going to do is basically create the two walls that you're seeing right now. Now the third step is your camera a light. So if you see this video, you know that the camera is not going straight. It's coming at me from an angle and shooting into the corner of the room. So after placing the camera, you're going to add the lights. Now you're going to add all the lights in the scene, the practical lights and the studio lights. So the first thing I'm going to do is add my practical lights. So all I'm going to do is add my window. Now the second practical light that I have on set right now is those fairy lights or Christmas lights behind me. So after finishing up the practical lights, we're going to move on to our studio light. So my key light at this current moment is located on camera left. I'm actually adding a modifier on it, which is a softbox. So now that I've created my key light, I'm going to create my backlight. I'm currently using a tube light. I'm going to position the light tube to light my hair and my back. So this is what the final setup will look like and you can always click on the light or camera to find out even more details. So that's it! You've just created a lighting diagram. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.